Tonight, the I-Team uncovers paramedics under attack. Chicago emergency personnel are being assaulted on the job, and first responders say it's getting worse. Investigative reporter Chuck Gowdy joining us tonight with more on this disturbing story, Chuck. It is, Kathy. Ron, you could hardly blame paramedics if they felt some paranoia on every call. First responders tell the I-Team at least once a day in the city of Chicago, paramedics trying to save lives end up fighting to stay alive. It's happening across the country and right here. It's so unpredictable. Six people turned into 12. A mini mob kind of formed. The physical violence started. We had nothing. No warning. The sirens blare. The ambulance rolls. Help is on the way. The I-Team rode with Ambulance 49 in Englewood, among Chicago paramedics trained to save lives, always on the defensive in case they need to fight for their own. You have something that seems like a benign situation, and all of a sudden it escalates. We have nothing to protect ourselves. In late August, paramedic Brandy Casper was treating someone she says appeared intoxicated who didn't want to go to the hospital. And during a routine blood pressure check, she was blindsided. And as I leaned down, she cold cocked me right in the face. She punched me right in the face. I felt the thumbnail. I kind of came down across here, and I just, I kind of saw stars for a second. Gave me a nice, nice black eye. Take home to my daughters. This guy was mad at paramedics in Oklahoma because their ambulance call had closed off the road. And similar incidents have happened to 52% of all EMS workers, according to the National Association of Emergency Medical Technicians. Here in Chicago, paramedics tell the I-Team it's much worse. Citywide, at least one assault every day. It says, I'm going to kill you, white <laughs> over and over again. Paramedic Melanie Howell says a patient and his family pinned her to the floor of her ambulance until firefighters had to rip the attackers off of her. If they had not stayed with me, I don't know what they would have done to me. Every day I go to work is different since that day. While there is no self-defense training for Chicago paramedics, this private company has trained EMTs elsewhere. You don't really realize it's happening, but it does happen way too frequently. Chicago Fire Department officials say after incidents when paramedics are attacked, they go to court to push for felony charges. The law allows any assault on police and fire to be prosecuted as a, uh, as a felony charge, not just a misdemeanor battery or anything like that. Cook County State's attorney's records show in the past two years, 60 paramedic assault cases have been charged as felonies, with the majority of them ending in a conviction or a guilty plea. I actually heard a judge say, it's an inherent risk in your job. I don't believe that. After a hostile mob attacked paramedic Larry Kazmarek, he says the bashing only resulted in community service for most of those charged. Kazmarek wants stiffer penalties. Going out this door, getting into a car accident, and going through an intersection, that's an inherent risk of the job. Being assaulted for showing up at somebody's house and trying to take care of a family member, that's not part of my job. City fire officials say police and prosecutors determine the severity of charges after an attack. A spokesperson for the Cook County State's attorney maintains tonight that her office has never rejected felony charges in a paramedic attack when police have asked. Tonight, officials of the Chicago Firefighters Union say when one of their members is beaten up, they plan to pack the courtroom. They say they don't want to see the charges dropped. All right, thanks, Chuck. Chuck.